Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to work out the factors of a number. Now to work out the factor of any number, we need to know a very important concept in mathematics and that is the concept of times tables. Yes, times tables. So many students in the past that I've taught and I've assessed, I've realized they have a weakness of their times tables and guess what? That weakness is going to haunt them all throughout their high school life. So if you don't know your time tables very well or you're not very fast, you need to practice your time tables and you'll notice you're going to realize how important they are all throughout high school. Let's get started and to work out factors we need to use our time tables and let's see how it actually works. In this case here, we're asked to find the factors of 12, the factors of 27 and the factors of 49. Let's get started with the factors of 12. So the factors of 12 are basically the numbers that multiply each other to get 12. So when we're looking at a factor, what numbers multiply each other to get 12? Let's see what they are. We think we know that 1 times 12 is 12. So 1 and 12 are factors of 12. What else? 3 times 4. 3 times 4 are also factors of 12 because 3 times 4 gives us 12. And lastly, 6 times 2 or 2 times 6 also give us 12. So the factors of 12 are 1 times 12 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 times 6 is also 12. So as you can see here, the factors of a number are the numbers that multiply to get that number in here we have 1, 12, 3, 4, 2 and 6 are all factors of 12. Let's look at 27. What are the factors of 27? Meaning what are the numbers that multiply to get 27? Let's go through and see. We know 1 times 27 is 27. We also know that 27 comes in our 3 times tables. That means 3 times 9 is also 27. So as you can see, 1 times 27 is 27, 3 times 9 make 27. So the factors of a number are the numbers that multiply one another to get that number. So here, 1 times 27 and 3 times 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 4 factors of 27. We look at 49. What are the factors of 49? Straight away we think, okay, the factors of 49 are the numbers that multiply to get 49. And we know 1 times 49 is 49. And we also know that 7 times 7. We can only put 7 or we can have 2 7, but probably best just to keep 1. So we have 1 times 49 is 49. 7 times 7 is also 49. So the factors are 1 and 49 and 7. As you can see here, these are the factors of 49, these are the factors of 27, and these are the factors of 12. Now that we've understood what factors are, sometimes we're asked to find what we call the highest common factor between two numbers. The highest common factor, meaning the highest number that occurs or that is a factor in two different numbers. Let's see how this is worked out with an example you understand and you get the picture much much better. In this example here the question says find the highest common factor of 16 and 12 meaning find the highest factor that is in both 12 and we also find it in 16. Let's see what we mean by that. First and foremost we need to switch our timetables on and we need to realize, okay, what are the factors of 16? Let's go through. 1 times 16 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. And 8 times 2 is also 16. So as you can see here, 1 times 16 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. 8 times 2 is 16. These are the factors of 16. 
So now we want to find the factors of 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. And 3 times 4 is also 12. So the factors are 12, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. These are all factors of 12. So now that we found the factors of 16, the factors of 12, what do you think is next? We have to find the highest common factor. Okay, let's see which ones are common. The common ones are these two. Also, we know that the 4s are common. We also know the 2 is also common. So 1 is common, 2 is also common because it's in both, and 4 is also in both. What do we notice? The highest common one, the highest common factor, the HCF, highest common factor, in 12 and 16 is 4. So the highest common factor in 16 and in 12 is 4. 4 is found in 16, 4 is found in 12, it is the highest common factor. 1 is common, 2 is common, but we will always look for the highest number, the highest factor that is common in both. In this case here, it is actually 4. Very important for you not to forget that. Another example. The highest common factor between 10 and 25. Let's list first out the, the factors of 10 and then the factors of 25 and then we'll be able to locate and identify the highest common factor in both. So we know 1 times 10 is 10 and 2 times 5 is also 10. Now you may think, why is this so fast? Very important, it's because I know my times tables. You need to be very, very fast at this because you're going to see much more complicated questions later on, more complex, they're going to take time, you need to know your time tables very, very quickly. 25, the factors of 25 are 25 times 1, and 5 times 5, so that's all. That one was an easy one, straight away, these are the factors of 25, these are the factors of 10, we want to locate the common factors and the highest common factors, straight away, I know that these two are common, 1 and 1, and I also can see that the 5 is also common, they are the only two, straight away, this 5 and that 5, they are the highest common factor, so the HCF, the highest common factor, in this case here, between 10 and 25, is 5, very important for us to see that, and to understand how factors work, and remember, I always say to all my students, your times tables, your times tables, your times tables.